There's nothing uncommon about seeing abandoned things along the bridge. It's not unlike the mainland in that way. How many times have you seen forests cleared out to make room for strip malls no one will ever use? How many times have you driven past the pristine, identical houses of a gated community in the middle of nowhere and wondered if anyone ever lived there at all? The distinction between lived in and deserted, where whispers on the wind can carry welcomes or warnings, seems to be a pretty common theme out here. When night sets in, you can't tell if that ship on the horizon harbors a single living soul. Or if the silver glint bouncing off of its sails is more than just moonlight. But that's not what I'd like to talk to you about today. What happened at the Transcontinental Hotel isn't exactly that kind of story. This is a success story. They built it. And people did come. We've been getting some calls lately. Or... One call, to be exact. So, Frank, just for you, here are the facts. The Transcontinental Hotel was a mainstay of Checkpoint 8 for 10 years. And it was beautiful. Five floors of spacious suites, a three Michelin star restaurant featuring the freshest fish you've ever tasted. 24-hour, world-class concierge service and a ballroom, outfitted with 12 crystal-clear, floor-to-ceiling windows. When you danced, it was like you were dancing in the sea. Here's another fact. The Transcontinental Hotel closed, without notice or fanfare, the day after its 10th anniversary. I said this was a success story. I didn't say for how long. You're listening to The Bridge. The Bridge is a bi-weekly podcast that will begin on Friday, July 22nd. Visit our website at thebridgepod.com or follow us on Twitter at bridge underscore podcast. The music playing under the folklore portion of our teaser was composed by Sarah Fairchild. The theme playing under this narration was composed by Jake Hall. The snippet of folklore we included here will be in episode one and it was written by Rebecca Mahoney was narrated by Alex Brown. We hope you'll enjoy your stay on the Transcontinental Bridge.